Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll see how to type uh, cases in uh, LaTeX. Uh, as you see in the thumbnail, uh, you can see that uh, it has been typed as f of x equal to, and then there is a uh, open curly braces there, and there is some cases, and based on what is the value of x, uh, the function value has been written. Uh, this is what we are going to uh, achieve today. Let's get started. I'm sorry. So here I am with my. Uh, Text studio opened here. Uh, if uh, anyone noticed, uh, I guess uh, I have shifted my uh, Windows uh, platform to Linux platform. I'm sorry for that if you are feeling some little uncomfortability. Uh, but as I said, uh, the LaTeX is, of course, cross platform, which means uh, any code you write it in any of the other. Uh, uh, other OSs will work in the same manner for others as well. Which means when I write the code in Linux, it's the same for the uh, Windows, it's the same for the Mac, it's the same for the Chrome OS, everything else. All right, let's get started. Uh, again, uh, I wanted to type something similar to this, or something exactly similar to this. So I want to type f of x equal to, and then there is something like this, correct? Uh, this you can achieve something called the cases uh, environment, which is uh, available from a package called AMS Math. Let's first add the package which is required for us, so which is AMS Math. That's all we have. And then uh, to type the cases, remember any package which is coming out of AMS Math is mostly inside the uh, Math environment. Uh, so we need to, of course, uh, create a Math environment. So any anything will work. Uh, so I will just go ahead with the equation environment, which is of course coming from the plain LaTeX. Uh, still, uh, it just needs a Math environment. That's all it is. So let's type the uh, cases over here. The way I wanted to type the cases here is f of x equal to, remember this is not part of the case. Uh, right now I'm going to start the case just by typing slash begin cases. And of course you need to end with that slash end cases. I hope you remember that. Okay, so just for the clarity I'll put it down. Remember f of x equal to is there. Uh, anything you type here inside this cases will appear it inside the uh, left curly braces and with the without any right curly braces. Uh, what do I mean by that? Let's uh, let me write one comma, and the way you write the cases here is by splitting an ampersand symbol. Uh, remember, in my uh, thumbnail, I had it like one comma and then minus infinity comma. Remember, all of these uh, cases are com properly aligned in the place here, right? So this is a kind of uh, array environment which is placed here. So to split up, this is come kind of first column and this is kind of second column. Split this first column and second column, we need to use ampersand symbol. This comes from the array environment. So just write one comma and then ampersand symbol. And this is minus slash infinity uh, less than or equal to, I'm sorry, this is strictly less than, of course, x and then uh, strictly less than 1. So if I compile this right now as far as whatever I have typed, and what is creating is it's creating an environment where the left curly brace is present and there is no right curly brace. All right. Correct. Now I want to type the second case. The way you type the second case is, as I said, it's kind of uh, array environment or tabular environment. So you split the columns using the uh, ambassador symbol and break the row using the double slash. So just type the double slash and type the second case. Uh, I think it is one minus cx and uh, comma. And I'm with some symbol to split the column. And uh, let me start with 1 less than or equal to x uh, less than 10. Right? So now if I compile this, and that puts the 1 minus x exactly between this curly brace, and that, of course, there is a right curly brace which is not with the x, it's just hidden, or in other words, it's not written at all. Uh, so that's about uh, the cases. Let me complete this by writing one more case as well. Uh, to go to the one more case, let me put a double slash and type the rest of them. So it's x square and of course comma is there and ambassador symbol. And uh, so this is otherwise, correct? So if I write otherwise, simply it gives you that. Uh, if you notice uh, carefully, this is of course inside the math environment. So anything, uh, anything, any text which is considered or which is written here will be considered as a mathematics environment, right? Uh, so I forgot to zoom in. Uh, sorry for that. Uh, so I don't want that to be in math environment, which I wanted to treat, treat it as a text. Uh, you see the thumbnail over here. This is in the proper text format, not like this. It's in italic or emphasized format. So 
to do that simply select all of them uh, cut it in your clipboard and write slash text and within curly braces you write it so anything you type in between this slash text command will be treated as a text environment and not the math environment so if i write this and uh, compile this uh, now you can see that that FSS mode has been changed and it has been the text mode uh, yeah i hope uh, that's all for this video of course you can of course write a full stop after the cases so that it will keep it in the exactly middle of that place now. so i go yeah so that's all for this video and i'll see you in the next video thanks a lot for watching